Well, I'm from Gravit, Arkansas. I went to high school there and uh, graduated high school back in, in 1986, actually. My parents were both school teachers, so we lived in a pretty conservative home. Uh, I was always taught that to be successful in life, you have to go to college and get an education. And uh, so I did that, went to the University of Arkansas. And seven years later, I uh, kind of learned something from that. I learned that that wasn't going to get me where I needed to be. So I uh, wouldn't be able to support my family teaching school uh, like I was planning to do. So I just continued to be a horseshoer by trade. Made decent money, but the problem with shoeing horses is that you're unemployed every time you do your job until you do it again. Just like anything else, people that work for money are unemployed every day they wake up out of bed unless they go out and do it again. And uh, one of the things that I've learned about this industry since I've been involved is that you can actually build a passive residual income meaning that you can actually get your life back because our life's made up of time so you know when I was first introduced to this industry it was back in 1995 and a friend had introduced me that I was actually shoeing horses for out in Oklahoma uh, to another company and uh, I built that company with everything I had for almost 10 years but one of the things that I've learned is that if a company is built around a single particular product or service it's probably going to be short-lived because trends change and as trends change companies you know, they go broke and uh, when people can not using those quit using those services and uh, it would be it'd be a whole lot like uh, if you and I decided to go into the riverboat business and a drought came into town and they were a nickel apiece they may be the best in the industry but all you can you and I can do is run up and down the shore and say ain't that cheap <laughs> timing is everything in business and uh, you know uh, one of the things that I love about what I'm doing now is that uh, with trends we're not affected in any way. It's about building a big business. You know, as you're taking a look at this fortune opportunity, I, I just encourage you to not ask yourself, is fortune what I want to do? Do I want to do this? What you've got to ask yourself is what I'm doing working for me. So you may say, I've got a, got a great job. You know, you may say, I make $1,000 a week, but do you really? See, profits is what you keep. And if you're working, earning $1,000 a week, you're not making $1,000 a week because the government's going to take about $300, right, in taxes. So basically you're working, you're worth $700 a week is what you're earning. But then you got your house payment, your car payment, <laughs> you got your insurance, you got your food bill, you got your electric, your gas. And what I'm saying is, is if you're living paycheck to paycheck, like most employees do, it means you're working for free because profits is what you keep. Now if you have credit card debt, it's costing you money to go to work. That's like buying a candy bar for 50 cents and selling it for 50 cents. You don't make 50 cents, you break even, you're working for free. See, because we're all financially illiterate, we teach our kids to go to college, get an education, work hard, climb that ladder. But the fact is, we teach them because we don't know any better to make more money so they can slip into a higher tax bracket and have less to spend at the end. That's why their wife has to go out and fight in that battle also. So here's what I want you to understand is it's all about leverage. Wealthy people create leverage. Poor people work for money. So let's say that you work 40 hours a week at your job. Again, you get paid on 40 hours. And the first thing you notice on that check, it says take home pay. The reason that's on there and it says that is because that's the only place you can afford to go with it as an employee. You know, one thing that we all deal with is, is something called fear. See, fear will tell you that you can't do something. Fear will say that you've tried that before but faith will say you can. So I encourage you to get started today. See, fear will tell you you need more information. Fear will say, I just don't understand it enough. But see, and, and fear will even say, when you see it, you'll believe it. But faith says, when you believe it, you'll see it. I encourage you to step out in, in faith, not in fear, and step out, just get this thing going, guys. We can earn as we learn. And if you decide to get started, I'll see you at the top. If you let it pass you by, I'm telling you, I'll have to see you from the top. But I want you to remember, opportunity never goes away. It just goes to somebody else.